Restricted airspace turns on or off. That is, if the airspace is active, then we require further approval to operate within that area. But if the airspace is deactive, then we require no approval to operate within the area. So here we have Romeo 405 Bravo. I'm going to bring up the airspace information by double tapping within Avplan. And we can see it's hours is HJ, which is hours jour, which is French for daylight hours. So of course we're not going to remember all of these acronyms, particularly if they're in a different language. So we can find this information within a document called URSA, En Route Supplement Australia. Within Avplan, all of these documents live within the text. So on that bottom row, we have text, URSA, and at the moment I'm interested with intro, URSA introduction. This is where all the acronyms are contained. So here we have the operating hours and we can see that HJ stands for sunrise to sunset. D stands for daily and so on. If we bring up a different restricted airspace and bring up the information, we can see that this one is D2200 to 1300. So these hours are in UTC unless otherwise specified. This airspace is active via NOTAM. A NOTAM is a notice to airmen or a message. That means that if there is a message released, then the airspace is active. And if there is no message released, then the airspace is deactive. We might also find that the airspace is active H24, which is 24 hours a day. So this is where we find the information for whether the airspace is turned on or the airspace is turned off. If it is active, we will need approval if the area is restricted. And if it is deactive, then we'll require no further approval and we can operate within that area as per normal.